Señor, porque eres tú, Señor, quien me, has, quien me has dado, Padre, esta palabra, Señor, para compartir con tus hijos, Señor Jesús, en esta hora, Padre, yo declaro, Señor, que tú ya te comienzas a pasear, Señor, todo te lo pido, Padre, en el nombre poderoso de Jesús, Padre, amén, gloria a Dios, amén. Porque sabemos que el invitado de honor ya está aquí, amén. El Espíritu Santo ya está aquí, él ya se está paseando. Nomás está esperando que tú abras tu corazón, amén. Oh, amén. 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 Y vamos a darle del 22 en adelante, amén. Um, if you guys have your Bibles, please open it up to Ephesians um, 6, 422. Amén. Who has it, amen? And if you don't have it, I'm going to read it. Glory to God. Quien lo tiene o si no, lo vamos a leer. Amén, amén, amén. I usually don't put titles on my messages, but on this one, the Lord gave me an exact title. And he told me to call, to call it, let it go of what doesn't work. Um, eh, usualmente no pongo títulos en mi mensaje, pero el Señor me puso que lo titulara, um, suéltalo, porque no sirve. Suéltalo, que no sirve. Amén, gloria a Dios. So vamos a leer la palabra, se lee en el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Y dice en Efesios 4.22, en cuanto a la pasada manera de vivir, despojaos del viejo hombre que está viciado conforme a los deseos engañosos okay. Glory to God So right here the Lord was ministering me as I was reading this word that um, despojaos del viejo hombre to let go of the old you of your old habits of your old traits of any old things that you're doing this year, the Lord wants you to let go. Because you want to be used by God, but God's not going to use una vasija que está sucia. No. He's not going to use somebody that's living in sin. Somebody that's living in lo oculto, that's sinning in the, like, low key. And then you come to church. No, God wants you to be clean in order for him to use you. So tienes que despojarte. Ya es tiempo que nos despojemos. It's time for us to let go of anything that's detaining your relationship with God. Oh, Holy Spirit. I can feel him. He's here. Hallelujah. And then it was saying, viciado conforme a los deseos engañosos. What does that mean? Se me venía a la mente. Like some of us, sometimes we're in a way, estamos enviciados. We're addicted to something. Like for example, I like Starbucks. <laughs> So I would say I'm addicted to Starbucks. <laughs> so entonces se me venía a la mente que dice que estamos viciados, que el, el hombre viejo está viciado conforme a los deseos de la carne. So that means that our old man, he likes the sin. He, he feeds off of that sin that we give him. He asks for it, like your, tu, tu cuerpo te lo pide, tu carne te pide que hagas ese pecado porque está tan enviciado. It's like it's in you, it's in your flesh. So the Lord is telling us that we have to let go. Que tenemos que despojarnos de lo que no nos está dejando avanzar. Amén. Glory to God. Vamos a seguir leyendo el verso 23. Y renovaos en el espíritu de vuestra mente. Aleluya. Renovaos en el espíritu de vuestra mente. Renew our mind. Where does it all start? Where does the enemy attack us? In the mind. When you're going to do something, where does it come first? It comes in your mind. The enemy brings a pensamiento and you start thinking about it. You're like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. It tells you like, oh, remember how you used to do that? Remember the old you? Oh, yeah. And if you lo empiezas a acariciar, empiezas a recordar, ¿sabes qué? Si me gustaba. I remember the feeling. I loved it. That's when you sin. That's when it goes to your heart and you sin. And it's telling us that if we want God to use us, we have to renew our minds. We have to say, you know what, Lord? This mind is yours. Esta mente es tuya. Que mis pensamientos sean alineados a tu presencia. Que mi corazón esté alineado, Señor. Porque el enemigo manda dardos a tu mente y anda como le león rugiente buscando a quien devorar. And it's up to you or me if you decide whether he dwells in you or whether you rebuke him in the name of Jesus. And right here I see that there's this generation que 
Dios quiere levantar, Dios quiere usar esta generación de jóvenes. God wants to use you, but he wants you to live in holiness. Glory to God. Vamos a seguir leyendo verso 24. Verse 24. Y vestidos del nuevo hombre, creado según Dios en justicia y santidad de la verdad. Once again, it tells us that we must be holy. Debemos de ser santos because he who has called us is holy. He doesn't live a half life. He's full holy. Y en la palabra de Dios dice que el que no tenga santidad no va a ver al Señor. ¿Cuántos quieren ver al Señor? ¿Cuántos lo quieren ver cuando Él venga en gloria? Cuando Él venga por esta iglesia. ¿Cuántos estamos listos verdaderamente? Porque el Señor ya se cansó, mis amados jóvenes. El Señor ya no quiere dos vidas. Ya no quiere dos apariencias. Él quiere que nos entreguemos por completo. Si nos vamos a entregar, entrégate por completo. Pero ya no estés jugando con las cosas de Dios. Porque nuestro Dios es un Dios celoso y Él viene pronto. Él viene pronto por aquellos jóvenes que se paren en la brecha. Por aquellos jóvenes que le busquen de madrugada. Por aquellos jóvenes que intercedan por otros. Porque como dijo Yeya, a veces estamos en that little snow globe. We're so fed up on us. What are my needs? What do I need? And we don't see what our brothers need. We don't see what they need. We have to get out of the bubble. We have to start praying for our brothers. We have to start praying for what they struggle with because sometimes they struggle through depression, through anxiety, and sometimes we don't even care. We're so fed up. But the Holy Ghost in this night, he wants to convict us. He wants to change us. He wants to transform your heart today if you let him because he is here. Glory to God. Amen. Is it the Holy Spirit? Yeah. Amen. 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 Ni deis lugar al diablo. How many of us, sometimes we get so furious, we get so mad, and we leave to bed like that. We leave with that anger towards whoever you got mad at, and you don't even say sorry, or you don't even find a solution to bring peace. And the word of God is telling us to not let rage get to us, to not let anger build up those emotions in us, and to not give the devil territory. Because when you get mad, when you get angry, when you don't ask for forgiveness, when you don't humble yourself, sometimes we think that we're humbling ourselves before the other person. But don't you realize that you're humbling because you want to make him proud? Because he's looking at you. Because he's seen your heart. He's seen that you're being obedient. So we, we must humble ourselves. We must be those that ask for forgiveness. Even if, even if we weren't wrong, we must learn to humble ourselves. Okay, we're going to um, skip to verse 29. And it says, Ninguna palabra corrompida salga de vuestra boca, sino la que sea buena para la necesaria edificación a fin de dar gracia a los oyentes. Once again, it's telling us to watch our vocabulary, to watch our language, to not cuss. How many of us sometimes we find it so easy to cuss? to go along with the trend, to go along with the world. But the word of God is telling us, do not cause, no dejes que salga una palabra corrompida de tu boca. You know, because when you do those, you, when you do those type of things, you, you, you make the Holy Spirit sad. He's right with you. Y él está mirando that you're doing the opposite. And then sometimes we wonder why God doesn't answer us. Sometimes we wonder why God doesn't, no nos respalda, por qué no nos usa. Porque nosotros estamos contristando su espíritu. Wow. We're making Hallelujah. him sad by what we're doing. Hallelujah. You know, because the Holy Spirit, he's our friend. He's a person. Yeah. He's a person just like you and I. Right now, he's sitting there in a chair. You know, he's here. He's a person he feels. Amen. So how would you feel, for example, if you had plans with somebody and they left you hanging? That's how the Holy Spirit feels when you, let, when you leave him hanging. When you promise that you're going to pray, you just go to sleep. And you say that you're tired, but then you're on your phone. That's how the Holy Spirit feels. 
So now it's time for us to wake up and to, you know what, give the Holy Spirit his place. To give him the place that he deserves in our life. You know, because sometimes some of us have that tendency to put in our bio God first. But is he really God? Is he really first in your life? En realidad es Dios primero en tu vida o nomás lo estás poniendo para que otros no piensen mal de ti. You know, Dios debe de ser primero porque Él nos da todo. We're here by the mercy of God. Yo no soy nada ni nadie. I just have a humble heart for Him to use me. I'm just a vessel. I'm a human being with many ears just like you. But you know what? I gave God my heart and I want to serve Him. You know what? And I want to see a revival in the youth. I want to see you up here as well. I want to see you guys up here. You know, and I know that God could do it. But the question is, do you want him to do it? That's the question. Porque Dios lo quiere hacer. Pero Dios es caballero y no va a hacer nada que nosotros no le permitamos. Amen. So we're just going to read verse 30, but I already explained it. Y no contristeis al Espíritu Santo de Dios, con el cual fuisteis sellados para el día de la redención. Verse 31 is very key, is very important as well. We're going to read it. Y quítense de vosotros toda amargura. So all bitterness, todo enojo, all rage, gritería, maldicencia y malicia. So what is it telling us? To let go of bitterness. How many of us are bitter? Sometimes bitterness either comes from our childhood, it comes from experiences we've been through, it comes from people letting us down, but you know what, this is a night that you could let it go. Si tú quieres dejar ir esta amargura en esta noche, el Señor se la pueda llevar. El Señor puede sanar tu corazón si tú quieres, pero es solo si tú quieres. Si tú te quieres ir igual, allá tú y Dios, pero si tú quieres irte lleno del Espíritu Santo, Él ya está aquí. Él ya está aquí, su presencia está aquí. Abre tu corazón porque aquí está el Espíritu de Dios. Amén. Hay que quitar, dice, toda ira, toda amargura, todo enojo. A veces muchos de nosotros asistimos en in, in a bad mood. Sometimes we're, we're angry. A veces nomás estamos en la casa and we're already with the face or with the attitude or with um, our families or whatever. And the Holy Spirit is telling us to take it away, to leave it. Leave the rage, leave the anger, leave the bitterness in 2021. Leave it here. Yeah. Don't go in it until 2022. If you want to see your life change, if you want to be different, if you want to have the fruits of the Spirit, tienes que dejarlo ya. Ya es tiempo que lo dejes aquí a los pies del Maestro. Amen. We're just going to read verse 32, and that's to wrap it up. Y dice, antes, sed benignos unos con otros misericordiosos perdon, perdona, perdonadores perdonados unos a otros como Cristo también nos perdonó a vosotros so it's telling us to be kind to be gentle with one another to care for your neighbor don't see them as another person see them as God sees them and if you can't see them that way tell God to give you the love of Christ yeah. you know because the word of God says that que bien nos hace if we could sing, we could preach, we could dance, but we don't have the love of Christ. No nos hace nada de bien. You know what? Let's ask God to give us that love para que nos llevemos bien unos con otros, para que nos unamos, para que estemos en un mismo espíritu, you know? Because if you think about it in the Bible, in the day of Pentecostal, when God moved, what were they? They were united. Estaban unidos. Y eso nos falta a este grupo de jóvenes que estemos unidos, que dejemos toda diferencia a un lado, cualquier problema del pasado, ya es tiempo. It's time for us to grow up. Stop being childish, you know? Leave anything in the past, you know, because the Holy Spirit wants to work within us, but if we don't let him, then he can't do nothing. Amen? Well, God bless you guys. And